Hello students, welcome to this video tutorial on substituting values into algebraic expressions review. Notice how the note says review because you have done this before, so I'm hoping that this review will go quickly. So what you have to remember is when you're doing these type of questions that you have to follow the rules of BEMSA. You must use BEMSA when you are calculating the answer. Brackets, exponents, multiplication or division in whatever order they occur, and then lastly, subtraction or addition in whatever order they occur. Okay, so like I said, you've done this type of question before, so let's see what you remember. Okay, question number one. Calculate 3e minus 7 if given the value of e equals minus 2. So the reason why these questions are called substitution questions is whenever you see a variable, okay, that's a letter, that variable is represented by a number which we don't always know. In this case, we know that whatever you see e, it is represented by negative 2. Okay, so 3e, what you have to remember about 3e is there is a hidden operation between 3 and the e. Do you remember what it is? It's multiplication. Okay, so let's copy this question. So we have 3 and then e. What is the value of e? It is negative 2. Okay, and then we're left with minus 7. The rest is the same because there's no other variables. Okay, so we have a couple of choices here. We can do negative 2 subtract 7 or we can do 3 times negative 2. Well, if we follow the rules of BEMSA, we have to do multiplication. So even though this is a bracket, it's a bracket around an, uh, an integer, which isn't really a bracket. So let's underline this part of the question because we're doing the multiplication first. So what is 3 times negative 2? Well, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay, positive times a negative equals a negative. All right, in the next line here, see how I've drawn an arrow to show that we're going to go to the next line. We copy negative 6. That takes care of this part of the problem. And then we have negative 7. Well, using our integers of subtraction rules, negative 6 subtract 7 is negative 13. Okay? All right, let's go to example 2. Calculate 12 minus 2u when u equals 7. Okay, so let's copy the question. So the 12 is unchanged. Subtract 2, and then we have u. Remember, 2u means 2 times u, and u has a value of 7. Okay. So let's look at this question now. We have a subtraction and we have a multiplication. Remember, this is multiplication. So following the rules of BEMSA, we have to do multiplication first. So what is 2 times 7? Well, 2 times 7 is 14. Okay, so let's copy down what we have left. We have 12, which was untouched. Subtract, remember, this is a subtraction sign. Subtract 14. 12 subtract 14. 12 subtract 14 is negative 2. Okay? All right, let's go on to example 3. Calculate 9 plus 4y minus 7 if given the value y equals negative 3. Okay, so we have a little bit longer question here, and maybe that's why there are more than, th there, there's four lines to this solution. So, Let's copy down the question. 9 plus 4y. 4y means 4 times y. So we'll put a bracket here. Negative 3. Subtract 7. Okay. So let's look at this question. We have an addition. We have a multiplication. And then we have a subtraction. Well, following the rules of BEMSA, we have to do the multiplication first. So what's 4 times negative 3? 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. So let's copy what we know after one step. We have 9 plus negative 12 minus 7. Okay, 
So let's look at the operations that remain. We have addition and we have subtraction. So following the rules of Benza, we do addition or subtraction in the order they occur. So in this case, addition was first. 9 plus negative 12 is negative 3. Okay? So what's left here? We have negative 3 subtract 7. Negative 3 subtract 7 is negative 10. So a lot of students ask me if they can combine steps. So in this case, only step 2 and step 3 can be combined. So what I mean by combined is, could you do 9 plus negative 12 minus 7 in one line and then go straight to the answer? Yes, you can. Okay? But you can't do the multiplication and the addition and the subtraction in the same line. You have to show me that you understand you're separating the steps of BEMSA. Okay? All right, let's go on to the next one. We have uh, something exciting here. Calculate E plus 6D divided by 2 when E equals 4 and D equals negative 4. So the exciting part about this question is we have two different variables and we have division. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. So the value of E is 4. So let's substitute that. 4 plus, and we have 6D. So that means 6 times, and what's the value of D? Negative 4 divided by 2. Okay, so what steps should we concentrate on first? Well, we have a lot of choices. We have addition which we know we're not going to concentrate on first. We have division with this fraction, and then we have multiplication. So let's do the multiplication first and calculate the numerator. So I'm just going to draw a little dotted circle around this, okay? So what is 6 times negative 4? Well, 6 times 4 is 24, and a positive times a negative is a negative. Okay, so that's step 1. So let's copy what we know. So we have 4 that we didn't do anything to it, plus we didn't do anything to that. We have negative 24 divided by 2. Now remember, a fraction means division. Now if you want to put a bracket around this, that's fine, just so that you can isolate it. That's cool. Okay, so let's do the division. Remember, this means negative 24 divided by positive 2. Negative divided by a positive is going to be a negative. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Okay. So you see how I'm showing all my work uh, on each step? Then we have 4 plus, and then we're left with negative 12. Okay. All right. 4 plus negative 12. What's 4 plus negative 12? negative 8. Okay, so let's move on to example 5. a squared minus 4a plus 9 when a equals 5. So what's different about this question? We have an exponent. Excellent. All right, so let's uh, do our substitution line. a is 5. 5 squared minus 4a. 4a means 4 times 5, so 4 bracket 5. Now remember, when we put a number next to a bracket, it means multiplication, plus 9. Okay. So following the rules of BEMSA, what do we do first? Well, we do exponents. Now remember, this is technically not a bracket in the BEMSA world. Okay. So 5 squared. Now remember, 5 squared is not 5 times 2. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. Now when you're solving these questions, you don't have to write 5 times 5. I just want you to write it in this note so that you remember what exponents mean. That is the most common error when working with exponents. Okay, so we solve the 5 squared. We have 25 minus 4 times 5 plus 9. 
Okay. Now, what we could have done here is we could have done this step in the same line, the um, multiplication. But what we'll do is we'll add a, another line here. So let's do this multiplication. 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, 4 times 5 is 20. So we have 25 subtract 20 plus 9. So we're ne whenever we're left with only uh, subtraction and addition, you can just go left to right and do all the steps at once. Okay, so I'm going to add a line here. So we have 20 sub 25 subtract 20 is 5. 5 plus 9 is 14. Okay? All right. So let's look at example 6. Replace a with 2 and b with negative 2 and solve this, this expression. 2a minus 3b plus bracket a minus b. So we get a bracket in this question. Awesome. Okay, so let's start substituting. So 2a, which is 2 times 2, a is, remember, positive 2, subtract 3b, 3 times, and b is negative 2, plus a, which is 2, subtract b, which is negative 2. Okay, so you'll never be able to get these questions correct if you can't substitute correctly. Okay, so we've got a lot going on here. So, the, because we have a true bracket, according to the rules of BEMSA, we have to solve the bracket first. So what is 2 subtract negative 2? Well, this is actually 2 plus positive 2, isn't it? and that equals positive 4. Okay? All right. So let's copy down what we know. This part was unchanged. 2 times 2. Subtract 3 times negative 2. Plus, remember this was a plus, and we have positive 4 here. Okay. So let's see what's going on now. We have multiplication. We have a subtraction, we have a multiplication, and we have an addition. So according to the rules of BEMSA, we have to do the multiplication first. Now there are two multiplications, so why don't we do both multiplications at the same time? 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times negative 2, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. All right, so let's copy down what we know. This is 4, subtract, this is subtract, negative 6, plus 4, okay? Now, because we're left with only subtraction and addition left, we can just go left to right if you want, or we can just do them one step at a time. So because I've got two lines left, I'm going to do them one step at a time, but you can do both of these steps at the same time. So 4 subtract negative 6 is actually 4 plus positive 6, which is 10. Okay? Then, if we were to just break it down into two separate steps, I'd be left with 10 plus 4 equals 14. Okay, so I hope that was a good review. I hope a lot of those skills that uh, you, you remember from the previous term or the previous unit. Okay, thanks for watching. This concludes this video on substituting values into algebraic expressions. Review, thanks for watching.